Yo, welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can get your hands on biomass and biogas. So you'll learn both from IC2. So first, let's take a look at what machines you will need. You'll need the macerator, the cannon machine, the bottler, the electric heat generator, and the fermenter. Just one note, all of these machines except the electric heat generator are low power. So if I quickly show you one recipe. For the fermenter, which makes this all possible, you're going to need the heat conductor, three universal fluid cells, and a handful of iron item casings. So, what you're gonna to need to grab yourself first is some biochuff. And to get that, the best way I found is to have wheat or go get yourself a bunch of leaves. So if we head over to the macerator now, and we let all of these chug away and do their thing, we'll be back. Booyah, there we go. We got our biochuffs, we take that out. Next, what you're gonna do is head over to your cannon machine, and supply this bad boy with water and switch it to this mode here. You can toggle through the modes and find this one here. Next, what you wanna do is place your biochar smack bang in the middle. That will chug away and do its thing. Booyah, there you go. There you have your biomass. So, and we've even got some left over. Next, what we wanna do is head to the bottler. So, if we flick this guy on, as you can see, that's chugging in and filling up. And let's fill these 10 cells with the biomass. Just one note, this cannot be used as a fuel. And I recommend putting in every machine you can upgrades because you know, they are pretty slow. Here we are, the final one. Bang, now we have our 10. We we'll wanna head over to the fermenter. I know this machine looks complex. It's like, where do I put anything? Well, it's pretty simple, really. What you need to do is put your biomass in this top slot here. As you see, input, output. This will output stuff in a form of fertilizer, just here as it's waste. And there you go, and there is your biogas. And now you can transport your biogas to wherever you want, tank, cell, your choice. So, just some notes to know about about this is it takes 10 millibuckets of biomass to produce 200 biogas so I guess you're not losing anything and the fermenter collects waste in a form of fertilizer just like I said earlier and the fermenter's speed is greatly affected by the generator you're using so for example I was using the heat generator there will always be energy lost over the heat generator where if you use this guy over here, the liquid fuel box, we believe it can work on the fermenter as well. It would not give you as much loss. And this will work, I know, with the blast furnace. So no worries about that. They are the only two machines I've tested it on. So I hope this has helped you in learning how to get both of these liquids. And there are a lot more recipes that you could use seeds as well, I think, to create biochaff as well. Just as a note, biogas fuel can be used in the semi-fuel generator as well. So I hope this has helped. As always guys, until next time, sit tight.